And the one thing about the funding for the last couple of years is we have held this government funding particularly for the high performers. We, we never cut that funding, and I, that was a direct advice to support the government. I didn't want that funding uh, to be cut. I want our athletes to give the same opportunity that the athletes all around the world. And I'm glad to be here with it. I gave a commitment that we were trying to get extra funding. I got an extra million on top of the property, two and a half million I gave them this year. For a while. We were was it difficult to get her? Did you go and say, look at what we did in London, look at what our rugby players have done, look at what our, even our soccer players have done? Well, look, when you're competing against education, you're competing against tennis, you're, you're competing against, you know, all these other departments, sometimes sports is the poor relation. And sometimes they say, look, we need that money for health, we need that money for education. But sport is very important as well. And it's important for the well-being of our society and the health of people in this country. But look, at the return that we get for sport. In the last seven years, we've gone to a very difficult time. What has lifted the souls, the minds, and the spirits of this country has been sport. The All-Ireland series, the rugby, the soccer, the in the Olympics, and that has lifted the soul of the mind. You know, people forget there's 500,000 volunteers every weekend, volunteers now out there from, uh, you know, looking after young boys and young girls, and that's not talking about all the competitors out there. So, there's a lot of people involved in sport, and also for the money that we put into sport, which is the capital works, and the capital money we put in, whatever you order, we get a return at 150 because you know, people that are out there raising money, they're being put in the facility. Now, it's important, I, I mean, it's part of the grassroots is looked after. But it's also that we keep a, a, you know, the, the high performance of the director as well. I'm a grassroots man myself and I'd like to, you know, that's why today the million, they weren't expecting the million for the, for the equipment man. They looked for the, the pre Rio money. I got the extra million for them and I'm delighted with that plus the million for the, for the equipment man. That's all good news. Good big events come to Ireland. I mean, you saw how excited everyone got last week with the Rugby World Cup. We've seen how excited people get when big events come such as the Ryder Cup. It would be possible maybe to get a European Boxing Championship as well to keep Taylor this year. Except one thing he would like to see Katie do before she finishes despite the major competition here in Ireland. Well look at you, you're right and, and, and I have to say that that's something that if we can assist and help in any way so between, between, between Paul Charland and, and the government we have a, an agency there that's prepared to assist and help anyone that wants to bring major events into the country. Actually I have somebody coming in, flying in from Geneva in the next week or two, the real professional boxing, they want to bring some volunteer in here I don't know any more about it yet, they're coming to see me he wants to see me before the Christmas, I'm actually going to arrange the meeting next week for him, he wants to bring a world uh, championship here now it may be professional boxing but he wants to bring it here I want to listen is it a world title fight or the world no, series that world, he, uh, a world series okay. no, uh, to be honest I have to know that information that's why he wants to come and speak to me on it he, he's from this country but he's living in Geneva and he wants to come and see me and I'll talk to him and if we can assist him and have any major event in this country look at the, 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 the European championship in 2020 we're going to get the four games of course the last 16 game it would be brilliant if we could get the 2023 World Cup we have a very good team for the place now there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes Pascal Donahoe and myself and Leo over the last two years have been working on this and it was announced last week by the police and I have to say that I would hope that this will happen now there's a lot of work to be done yes there's, there's going to be have to be a company set up there's a lot of work to be done uh, you know there's going to be very difficult bid but we want to assist them in every way to try and get that bid and it would be great for the country like the European Championship in 2020 to have any major event in this country take the Giro to Italia what's great to have it in the country it was here for a few days and any sporting event that we can handle in the country we should try and get to the top possible.